Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this episode we are going to engrave some nice wooden things like this over here. But not only this, we are also yeah, trying to engrave this big piece here, this big cutting board for, yeah, for meat and fish and that kind of things. So uh, we are going to do this on the Orter Master 2 laser engraver, which is the bigger version of the Orter Master laser engraver that I previewed, uh, well, earlier uh, this year in, in these videos. Uh, and well, you can find that over there. But uh, well, this video is going to be about the bigger laser engraver. Hi, so now we're in my shed and you can't see it yet, but over there, there is the Orter Master 2 laser engraver or laser cutter. And uh, well, we are going to work on it, but first, put the glasses on because safety always comes first. And now I can put in the cables. I always take them out when I'm not using my machines because well, they can be harmful, they can be dangerous and therefore I don't want them to turn on. So now I've done the cables and uh, well, let's turn on the machine, see if it homes correctly. And there we are. Now, before we start uh, working with this machine, let's take a look at uh, what we have here. This one is installed with a 15 watt laser module, but as mentioned, this is not really 15 watt. This is only 4.5 watt on the output of the laser. Uh, it has a lens that is focusable. Uh, it has a yeah, rather giant frame, uh, which can do 45 by 40 centimeters. Uh, of engraving or cutting uh, as, as long as the, the laser is strong enough to cut. I've placed it on a wooden board because then I won't cut into uh, other things that are beneath it. And uh, well, it's a very nice machine that is controllable via laser gerbil or other software that you can install. Now, something else I got laying around here are those nice dishes. Those are uh, yeah, made for, for uh, small tapas and uh, I think they're very nice. They're made out of olive wood and uh, well, let's take a look. Oh, wow. They're made out of olive wood and let's take a look what we can engrave in these small tapas. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the sizes and uh, I'm going to take a look 15 by 15 by 8 would be nice now as you can see over here I got the screen with uh, my light burn software installed and uh, well the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the circle uh, draw an ellipse and then go in for the measurements over here and uh, there we can see that uh, well I wanted it to be 15 so the width has to be 150 times 80 and now here it has drawn the ellipse now I'm going for a text inside uh, 3d Print creator. Sorry, there is some flicker on the screen. I don't know how to solve this. This is a thing with this camera. Um, it shows the flickering of the screen and I can't solve it. Make it here. 3D print creator. Uh, and let's put a minus sign between the words. Select. Well, select all of this and see if I can make it a bit smaller so that it will fit inside over here. Now I've turned on the laser. Here you can see the small dot. I'm going to focus the laser. 
so it has a really tight focus point over there and now because I touched it I'm also going to center it home it again so I'm going to bring the laser home and now I'm going to start the laser subscript Now, as we can already tell, this is a very light burn. So I'm going to, well, not touch the laser and go for a higher power. So I'm not going to touch the laser. The only thing I'm doing now is go for 40 watts of laser power or 40% of the laser power. Turn it on again and see what it does. I guess it did a pretty nice job in creating this uh, 3D print creator signing. Now also let's try this other olive wood cup that I have. Um, it's at the same height, the same thickness, so I don't have to refocus the laser. As you have seen, I did some nice engravings on different types of wood, uh, even on a very large one. And well, this would have been impossible to do if I would have used this smaller Orter laser. Uh, this is my smaller 15 by 15. It's got the same laser head, so they both have a 15 watt uh, laser head, which actually is about 4.5 watt uh, of laser output. And uh, well, because this is a smaller size, you're not able to do this type of bigger engravings. Now, as you have seen, uh, this machine is capable of doing, well, really large engravings. You can go to 45 by 40 centimeters with this frame. And uh, what I have to say, it, yeah, it does a nice job. It does the same quality of engravings as the other one did. And uh, well, I've also been cutting with it uh, some cardboard, for example, for my new uh, yeah, extension pieces for my Catan game. And uh, well, that also worked great. Uh, I've done some uh, light cutting of uh, uh, plywood, some, some three millimeters plywood, which worked great. Uh, I have to say that thicker plywood didn't went that well with this laser. Well, I have been cutting five millimeter plywood uh, with the smaller one, uh, this one didn't do that well on 5mm plywood. Uh, I managed to, in about 15 passes to cut through it, but the edges there were not clean at all. So, nah, not really a nice thing. But I have to say, I do like the bigger frame, and uh, especially for engraving, I think it's, it's a great. Uh, piece of gear that yeah that can do a lot of things. So you saw me cutting this foam and well this is uh, one centimeter or, or it's even a little bit more it's it's a uh, 12 millimeters thick foam and uh, well you can cut it very easily and gives very nice sharp edges so uh, if you want to make an inlay for example for in a case uh, then you can easily make it with some old foam and well yeah, you can do everything with it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Oh, and of course, don't forget, uh, also hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the bell icon, uh, all that kind of things. You know the drill, but uh, you help me, well, <laughs> a, a lot if you do so. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.